Hey, everybody. How are you doing today? I received an email uh, last week. Uh, basically said, hi, Eba Central. I've been watching your videos on YouTube. Great job. I wonder if you could do a distro intro or something similar with Trisco Linux. This is a distro that has been certified by FSF, though hasn't captivated much attention, maybe for a reason. Triscoll 10.0.1 LTS Navia was released on February 1st, and it's had about 26,000 downloads. Now, what I have found out about Triscoll is it's gotten rid, I think, of the Ubuntu kernel and went straight to a Libre Linux kernel. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to stop talking about it, and we'll get on over to the desktop. And when you first boot into it, you can tell right here, it wants you to pick a language. We'll go ahead and do that and then try it without installing. Let's hit enter and we'll go ahead and maximize the screen. And then we will have to do some adjusting on the resolution. Okay, we'll go ahead and come down here. Let's go ahead and go to system preferences, personal hardware, displays. Let's go ahead and pop this up. Let's change this up to go right there. Let's go ahead and apply that. It's probably going to stretch it out way too big because let's restore the previous. Let's see if we can get this thing to fit. Let's go up here. Let's go ahead and 2560 by 16. See if that'll fit. That's probably the best we're going to be able to get it. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this configuration. We'll go ahead and close it. And Triscoll's pretty right off the bat. So one thing about Triscoll, it does have an Ubuntu base. Plus you get the 100% Libre Linux kernel. Uh, one of their things is, is they want to talk about it, is they want to use it for various people. Whether you're using it at home, maybe office, maybe you're a teacher, or maybe you want to use it for multimedia. They want it to be pretty much fit what anybody wants to use and they want to make it easy to use. Now, one thing I want to look at, let's go down here. One of the first things a lot of people ask is how do you install software on it? So let's go ahead and see. You've got the GW Package Manager, and let's see what else they got. Do they have an actual software center? Add and remove packet. Man, if it had been a snake, it would have bit me. So let's go ahead and maximize this so you all can see it. And I guess it's just a type search and install. So let's look for something like Caden Alive. Let's go ahead and hit enter. There's Caden Live right there. So you would just check mark it. And then you would just go ahead and hit apply down here. And it would install it for you. So that's pretty simple. Let's cancel that. And we'll come back down to the bottom. Install. Let's see what the installer looks like. See what kind of installer we'll be dealing with on Triscoll. Install a super user. So you've got English. Continue. So it's a pretty simple installer. It reminds me a little bit of what you would get on Linux Mint and on Ubuntu itself. So... They've got the same installer there. Do you really want to quit? Yes, let's quit. We'll back down here. You've got places. you got your system, preferences, admin. Let's look at about Mate. It's 1.24.0. Close. Let's go ahead and take a look real quick at Trisco Linux's website. Now, one thing I am going to say out of the box, because I am using the uh, Tuxedo Pulse 15 Gen 2, it's got a higher resolution monitor that you would definitely probably need to adjust your fonts right off the bat. Let's go ahead and pop down here. Let's go to system. Let's go to preferences, look and feel, appearance, background, and fonts. Let's go ahead and see if we can make them fonts a little bigger. Let's go ahead and pop these up just a little bit. Let's take them up to 12. Select. That makes things a little bigger, so let's go ahead and close out of that. Pop back up, and there's Triscoll's website, which is triscoll.info. I'll be sure to put that link in the description below. Uh, what is Triscoll? It's a GNU Linux, fully free operating system for home users, small enterprise, educational centers. You've got screenshots, documentation. It lets you know down here. We publish a new set of live and installation media. And if you're already running Triscoll and you want to update to the newest version, just sudo apt update. And then sudo app dist dast upgrade. So you could do it from there. They've got a lot of information on here. Let's go to documentation. And they do have a forum. And it looks like they've got quite a bit of documentation down here. Shows all the revisions, their philosophy. So uh, it's a rather decent looking operating system. I want to go over here. Browsers obviously based or is Firefox. Let's close out of that. Let's see if it shows as just regular Firefox. 
a browser, web browser, Ice Dub Mail, Electrum Bitcoin Wallet, Jammy, Remote Desktop Viewer, Transmission. So it's a pretty decent little operating system. It's good looking. It's obviously going to be a solid operating system. You've got the Linux Libre kernel. Uh, it's going to make things a lot easier for you to do. But like I said, if you're somebody that, whether you want to use it at home or at the office, or you just want to use it for maybe some multimedia purposes, web browsing, watching videos, things like that, uh, certified with FSF, I don't think you can really go wrong with it. Like I said, I'm not going to go too in-depth on it. They just wanted me to cover it and do a, a little intro for people out there. So if you've got an extra USB or maybe a little bit of room in your virtual machines, uh, download Triscoll, take it for a test drive. Come back and let me know what you think. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like the channel. Likes keep me in YouTube's algorithm, which means if you found the information in this video helpful, somebody else out there might as well. And subscribe. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. You also can become a member right here on YouTube for just 99 cents a month. But that's not all. We are also on Nutrion, which you can become a member on at $2.99 a month, or Odyssey, which is $4 a month. You can also buy us a cup of coffee, maybe zip on over to PayPal and throw us a donation, or go over to Patreon and become a patron to the channel. All those links will be in the description below. As always, thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.